Hey everybody, it's Wes with Fundamental Games, here to share with you a little digital preview of a game called Earth by Inside Up Games. This is currently funding on Kickstarter, I think it has about 10 days to go, and is doing very, very well. I was pleased to see how much interest there is in a game with this kind of theme and visual. So I'm going to share five things that I like about Earth. First off is uh, Earth is beautifully presented. I could imagine um, a commentator discussing the different locations and animal types that you see in this game. They're all realistic or real photos. Uh, for all I know, they got it off of a commercially distributed photo site, but I think they've used the images very, very well. Uh, you can see on some of the, um, the plant cards or the animal cards, the graphic design doesn't interfere. Um, they've used some very uh, hush tones or pastel tones so that the vibrancy of the art really stands out amongst the different tableaus and visuals of the game. So I think it's just beautiful to see that life's artwork in this board game presented so very, very well. And that's the first thing I like about it. It's clean, it's crisp, both on TTS and um, in the physical board game and the videos that I've seen people playing with prototypes as the game's not in true existence yet. But um, now that it's crowdfunded, it will later this year. Second thing I like is there's an action selection mechanism that is uh, reminiscent of Puerto Rico and other games with like that, where uh, each turn one player picks something on the top of their board that they're going to do. So let's say we're going to pick, uh, I'm just going to use this as an example, let's say we pick this as our action or maybe it's this token we use, but this is our action for the turn. So the, um, the player gets the bottom action and every other player gets the top action. So the the person who chooses it gets a better benefit than the rest of the players. So for example, they can plant two cards and uh, draw four or something, pick one, whereas other players can only plant one card and draw a card. So, um, if you're doing the planting thing, or if you're doing a climate thing, or if you're doing a watering or a growing or whatever um, option you're choosing, you can see the four titles up top. Whatever you choose, you get the best perk, and what, whatever you, um, all your opponents get the secondary benefit of it. That's the first thing I like is that action selection mechanism. I do like it in games where everybody's doing the same thing, but in a different capacity for the person who got to choose it or uh, whose active turn it is. And then it goes to the next player and they do the same thing and they can pick the same action um, or they can pick a different action on their own board, whatever it is they want to do. The third thing I like is that it has player tableaus. So uh, I've got an example here. Each player gets a board that can hold 16 of uh, poker size cards. So that's an empty one, and then here's an example of a full one. And so throughout the game, a player will plant cards. We'll give you an example here. If I plant this card, um, oh, my degrees are a bit off there. But um, if I plant a card here, for example, then on a future turn or future planting, I have to plant it adjacent, either diagonal or orthogonal. And you keep on planting cards on, on your turns as you can afford to play for the soil cost on the top left, and you'll get points at the end of the game based on how well you build out your board. Or if you kind of like when you expand as eggs, this game does plant cubes. So every card has a certain amount of cubes that can be push, put on it. And the more plant cubes you have on them at the end of the game, the more points you get. Um, and then there's a bit of a race style to it because the uh, first player to get 16, uh, all, all of their board filled in kind of triggers the end of the game. So you kind of have to keep an eye on each other's boards as you're playing uh, to make sure that you, you're planting enough plants to have a chance to win the game. So that's the third thing that I like. The fourth thing I like is that uh, every player has a secondary board which gives them individual perks and bonuses. So for example, uh, you have, might have a certain island or a certain uh, climate. You might have a, a mountain or a special ecosystem. You might find special event cards like a geyser or other things that kind of give you unique um, extra cubes or extra resources or discount advantages or all kinds of different things throughout the game. So this is your own personal board uh, that affects how you're going to perform in your game or what you're going to go for in the game. So I really like that. Not only do you have your own tableau of what you're planting, you also have your own board of uh, the benefits and advantages you can get throughout the game. And then finally, number five, and I kind of mentioned it as number one, but I think it tethers more into number five, is that um, the visuals of the game are fantastic, but even more so, it has a great overall theme. 
that allows you to enjoy the beauty of nature, not only in the visuals, but also on the cards. You can read that the red-eyed tree frog is capable of jumping a distance of 20 times its body length. Or you might read that the wood from the white oak is commonly used to make wine and whiskey barrels. So uh, it's a, a calm ambiance, it's beautiful, it's got learning capabilities, both in just the text alone, but also in different environment benefits and stuff like that. So uh, if you haven't already seen this game, I'd highly recommend checking it out on Kickstarter. Um, or see it when it's on game stores, whether it's later this year or early next year. I'm not sure what their timeline is like, but just from what I've seen on Tabletop Simulator and some of the videos I've watched, it looks like a wonderful game to add to your collection. If you've already backed it or you had a chance to play a prototype of it or some such thing, or you played it on TTS, throw a comment in, let us know what you thought of the game beyond just the uh, kind of general overview that I just gave. Thanks for watching and have a great day.